Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door or Door Should I Come Back to you with episode 28, and today we're going to get into a little bit of shenanigans. So I've taken out the other portion of this system, and I've kind of just reset it to have canola. Um, and actually, we can quickly do this. So we won't turn this on yet, but we can just set it up to be this way. Um, but we're going to have canola go in here, drop down, get lasered. And, of course, this pressure plate will activate this and deactivate this. It'll only drop one at a time. I have a vacuum chest uh, that will pick up only crystallized canola seeds in a range of two, which a range of two is a decent chunk, but just in case it flies out. And then that is going into this drawer. All right. And then from here, we're doing a few things. Let me actually take out some of these cables because I was kind of just messing around with something a second ago. Um, I've added RF tools into this pack, and I've also added uh, at logic blocks. I'm not 100% sure how logic blocks works or if it's even really that great. Um, but we do have a few things that seem like a decent thing, such as the AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, uh, XNOR, gated, RS, toggle fl toggleable flip-flop clock, randomizer, randomizer digital analog res resistor, repeater without delay, redstone bridge, right input, redstone bridge, left input. Um, I really wanted it for the AND gates, kind of just something simple. But let's get into this here. Let's actually grab uh, a lantern. All right, lantern. This thing right here. Kind of get some lights up in this area here. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing I want to do is actually get an inventory checker. I was looking at the redstone signal thing from this, but this is not really what I want. I'm going to want an inventory checker. Uh, and the reason we want an inventory checker is to, of course, check that the inventory is um, either full or not full, right? So let's put this down. Um, and actually, we can put this down either here, here, or under it. But I think for now, we'll put it down here. Uh, no, let's not, because I don't want the wall to look like that. All right. And then we should be able to take this redstone conduit and just go down with it. So input... Let's just do signal green. And then here, we're going to check for crystallized canola seeds. And we want to... I think it's just slot zero, right? Okay, and then we're going to do like... Um, let's say 500. I think that sounds like a good option. And if we wanted to test this... I've got a redstone lamp that we can actually just set for output. Okay. And if I do zero, or if I do one. Okay. Okay, so we do need slot one. Perfect. And that should turn off when we ask for 500 per. All right. So now we can actually just bring this over, right? And we can put our item conduit here. We can say extract, perfect. So we want this to then go up. We're gonna want this in two places, right? So I wanna put this here as well. We're gonna need more of these. Let me be right back. Okay, so we want to get this to output strong signal on green. Let's actually do brown here. Uh, no, I guess it does need to be green. Okay, so the reason we want to do this is to permanently deactivate this, right? If we have too many, just turn it off. Perfect, so we don't get overflow here. We don't get overflow here. Um, you know, basically anywhere. Now... The next thing we need to do is also grab an AND gate. 
So let's actually grab this thing right here. We're going to see how well this will work. I'm not 100% sure if this mod's even worth it. But uh, we'll see. All right, so how does this work? So we've got input, input, output. All right. And it looks like the uh, actual block is not set up correctly to actually be broken by anything other than a vanilla pickaxe. Which is not a good sign. So let's go downstairs here. I kind of want to look into the source code of this mod. But I know it's been, it's been, um, oh, that's great. Huh. Okay. So I had to remove that mod. Um, and I looked at the source code cause it was available. And the reason it was not working was because the creator of this mod made it to where the block was unbreakable. I tried messing with Craft Tweaker to see if I could make it breakable. Uh, the original concept was to be like a creative mode only mod. They added recipes to it, and then they didn't take that whole creative idea out. And then they basically abandoned the mod. So uh, what I've done is I've actually found another mod. Uh, let's see, what is it actually called? Uh, Logic 101. This stuff right here. Uh, hopefully, and I mean, hopefully, this will work. Looks like we'll get two AND gates from here. And let's see how this one works. Okay, so we should basically have the functionality to do this. Let's grab two redstone torches. So one, two, knock this out, knock that out. So if you don't know what an AND gate is, you basically need this and this to activate this, right? Because there's your AND. Right needs to be active and left needs to be active. The OR gate would be left can be active or the right can be active. Um, so, but I, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't think it's both though. Okay. So hopefully this mod will work out. I will be pushing it. I have to remove a script because I did add a script to try and mess with that logic blocks mod, but we're, we're done with it. It's all gone. All right. So back to what we were doing here. So... We need to make sure that the inventory is not full, because if it is full, we want to deactivate the system we're going to set up down here. Alrighty. So let's see here. What are we doing? So we are getting the crystallized canola, right? That's what we're looking for. So we want to get a uh, precision dropper. Okay. So we could set the precision dropper. I'm going to say like right here. And the, actually, let's set this down one block. Let's grab some stone. And actually, why don't we just move it over? Okay. And then we need the fluid placer, which is this, right? Uh, let's place this on this side, because we need the fluid to come down uh, somewhere over here, right? Where's my shovel? There's my shovel. Yeah, because we need the fluid to come down into this area, which we can just kind of carve out this little spot. Okay, and then we can just bring this down. And we ran out right as we were about to make it. All right, so fluid conduit. Do I have any more? I need fused quartz, which I need actual quartz for. So let me grab some of that and I'll be right back. All righty, so let's get this going here. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have oil, right? We want to see 
if we have oil placed on the ground. How do we do that? Well, we have a scanner from uh, extra utils. The scanner should be what we need to be able to do this, right? So let's get the scanner. It's not too expensive. And we're gonna need to do is place this down. And we're going to then need to place this, uh, let's see. Do I actually have a bucket of just normal canola oil? Doesn't look like I do. All right, so let's grab a bucket. All right. Let's grab some refined canola oil. And we're going to place this down. And then here, we're going to right click. We're going to say set current block, which you'll see it says current block refined canola oil. Okay? Which is exactly what we want. So we can't just take the redstone signal from here to here because we need to be able to pulse this, right? You don't want a continuous redstone signal. So what we're gonna have to do is kind of some redstone trickery with this. And that's why I installed RF tools as well, because we have the sequential, or the, the sequential, what is this? Oh, RF tools adds a whole bunch of syringes, but I think they're useless until you add, that's eh, okay. There's a few things in here that are pretty cool, like the spawner, so you can use all that. Um, yeah. Let's see. What else? Where was I at? Okay, so this thing right here. So this is a sequencer. That's what it's called. Sequential, sequencer, whatever. Um, and the thing we're going to do with this is we're going to put this down and we're going to put enable on every single one of these. And basically what this does is every block in here represents a tick. And we're going to loop this for, right? Loop the cycle when redstone signal is present. So this will continuously basically create a pulse every four, right? So I think the way the loops work is like a repeater. You have one tick, two tick, three tick, four, and this basically creates that. I don't, I don't think it's like as fast as normal, so that's going to be a good thing. So we're going to place this here, this here. We're going to say green output green. Yeah, green, right? And you can see here that this is continuously going. And it turns on. And it turns on. Okay. And we're going to actually need a redstone torch to turn this to pulse. And what should happen is if I were to throw canola seeds in here you can see that this would actually start pulsing. Of course, since this is not a stagnant block, it will not function like that. So let's actually do this. No, no, it's not this. Hold on. I threw the wrong one in there. Uh, let's actually grab some more of these crystallized canola seeds. So if I do this, this should stop. See how it says negative one? That means it's off, okay? So since it's not detecting refined canola oil, this turns off. It's not pulsing anymore, it's not doing anything, which is good. So the next thing we wanna do is set down our modular router. Um, we want to be able to kind of set up the system I had last time with the fluid transposer, right? We wanna just be able to kind of sequence between that. So let's go fill to empty, and then we need to get power over here. That's something else we need to do, like ASAP, is get power to this. Um, and I don't really know of a good way to do that. Um, I mean, I guess we could just simply grab uh, leadstone flux ducts. For a minute here at least. Because we're also going to need to power this. So if we then break into the floor here. And yes, if I use the Ender IO stuff, I would be able to do this much, much quicker. I know. I'm, I'm going to probably replace it in a bit anyway. This is just temporary. Okay, 
So we should see that this is now funneling out. And what we should have now is grabbing this singularity tank, putting this, uh, not here actually. We probably want to put it here in all honesty, right? And then that bucket needs to go out to the left. And let's actually grab a filter just in case, because I don't 100% know if this is going to work properly. And we're going to do this to here. We're going to insert, going to extract, always active with a filter of empty buckets on whitelist. Okay, so I put this in here. I think I can only do one bucket, right? So now, if we feed this with a few buckets, here, hold on. Oops, this is the wrong hole. So what I need to also do, how is this going? All right, so what I should do real quick is let's actually grab some energy conduits. Uh, energy conduits, we'll probably need a little bit more than that. Okay, and let's get rid of the leadstone flux ducts. Even though I just ran these. Uh, and then let's go for... Powering of that. And I forgot it powered down here as well, didn't it? We could probably save a cable or two here. Okay, so that's just running there. All right. Isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I had these like this, didn't I? Okay. And then... We'll run that in a second. So now we should be getting... Maybe? No, because I haven't connected that. So we should be getting some power in here, which means we're going to get some refined canola oil. And all of that should funnel down into this. And we're going to grab a demagnetization coil real quick as well. We don't really need a big one. We just need to make sure this is not going in my inventory. Okay. So you see that that just filled up. The bucket's back in here. So that's working, right? We have that system down pat. Um, probably going to need some more of these. Uh, and let's just cross over here. So yeah, this should work in theory, I'm hoping. Okay, so now what we need to look at is getting the next tier. And what I probably should have done was put this over here instead, but oh well. So let's actually kind of close this area off. I know the entry's right over here too, so let's just keep that open for right now. Actually, we could just make this the entry. And then close this off. And we'll probably expand this direction to place the other parts. Sound good? Okay. And this oil generator is probably not doing too hot anymore. But that's okay. It should fill everything up because nothing's being used right now. Okay. So... You're slowly producing this. And I would love to be able to see the actual oil. If it's down here. So let's grab a piece of glass. Just the normal one will work. Alright. So this is the first part. Okay. And we also did not connect anything to this redstone pipe. And I don't know if I really need to. 
100% right now. So I think we'll just knock this off. I think the only concern is once we get a full tank, really. So, uh, let's see. Let's get rid of modular router's guide. Get rid of that stuff. And let's actually grab, what was I looking at? The Yetta wrench? Where's my Yetta wrench? Oop, nope. I didn't want to take that one out. Okay, so that should be good there. Um, I think we're good on this portion, right? We kind of need to start getting... All right, I'm going to start taking some of this canola so we can actually start producing a little bit more. All righty. And then... Let's see here. So I'm hoping what to see is that we have oil chain put be put here. And actually, I'm probably standing too close. Okay, why are you not working? Why do things just have to not work? You know? Like, how hard is it just to work? Okay. I shouldn't have been standing too close for that to work, but apparently I still am. I don't even have my magnet on. I just want to see this thing work. Okay. You saw that that was actually functioning. So let's watch this go. I should be high up enough to not bother with this. Okay, so we should see oil any second here. Perfect. And then it turned to that. And then this should slowly pump into here. Okay, it's done. So we've got... I don't even know how many buckets it has. Almost half of the singularity tank full. Which is perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, we basically need to duplicate this system a little bit, right? Because we now we need to take empowered seeds. So we're going to need a whole lot of canola seeds for this. And we're going to need to... Take those canola seeds and empower them, which is a whole other system that we're going to have to get into. But we're going to need a lot more seeds. And I mean a lot. So I think what we want to do... So I'm going to actually grab a solar panel, maybe. What, all, what other systems do we have that we can just get, like, power for a second? Uh, coal generators. Is, th is this like a decent coal generator? I don't remember. I want to kind of look at this for a second. How are the coal generators with this one? Let's see. Let's grab some coal. Grab some coal blocks up here. Let's just grab eight. I should start powering this. And uh, let's throw some canola seeds in there. Oh, it's doing pretty decent. Definitely not generating enough power. Huh. Okay. I was just curious because that's not going to work out. Alrighty. So quickly, I wanted to test the difference between refined canola oil and crystallized. So we have two empty oil generators. So the right one we're going to throw refined. This one we're going to throw crystallized. So we have uh, 80 CF per tick for 120 ticks. Here we have 100 CF per tick for 280 ticks. And you can see that these are about equivalent. This one's actually a little bit less. So 28,000, we're at 35,000. And this is only 100 millibuckets used. Uh, this one is at, what is that? 250 right 300 yeah 300 and this one is at 100 and it has completely and utterly filled its uh, power bar 
So you can see that this is much more efficient and also just outright better. Okay, cool, good to know. So why are we trying to get the empowered version? Well, the empowered version is even better. And to get the empowered version, of course, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need, of course, an empowerer, which is just expensive outright because we don't have really anything that needs this. So we need a few basic cells here because we're gonna need a single battery. So single battery, and a double battery, and we need an empowerer. So we also need a display stand. A display stand, which is the ethic, 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 ethetic, ethetic, I don't know. Anyway, ethetic and ethetic, which is quartz, what was that? Block of quartz and chiseled quartz. Chiseled quartz is slabs. Okay. So quartz. So let's make some slabs here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a few. I need four display stands. So we need three and three. So if we, we'll need to get more of this. Dinner plate? Okay. So there's four. So we're gonna need one more set because we need one for the empower. And then we're just gonna need normal quartz blocks for the other ones. Okay, so we'll need 15. Oop, not what I meant to do. Okay, and what I can do for right now is just toss them here. Maybe. And then same thing with this. All right, and we need to actually go charge this double battery. All righty, so we got the empowerer. Now we're gonna need four display stands. So let's toss this stuff in here, this stuff in here, get those four. And now we need to go pop back over here. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this because, of course, canola seeds are not like an abundance, right? We don't have an absolute ton of them, especially because this one is actually voiding most of them, right? So let's go over here and we're going to have to kind of figure this out. And I'm pretty sure this needs to have a block in between. So this needs to go here. This one needs to go here. Then one needs to go back in this direction. And then one needs to go back in this direction. So I think right there, right? So one block in between. And let's clear out some of this dirt here. Kind of get this area cleared out enough so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, and I'm pretty sure with the um, crystallized, no, empowered canola seeds, we need four canola seeds, okay, and then a crystallized in the middle, okay? So we're going to actually need more canola seeds than what I remember. So I'm kind of wondering, um, crystal growth... This thing right here. Do we want to try and kill the wither? I might want to. Because if I can get up to this tier. And I mean these aren't that expensive. I just need gas tiers. Right? Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So, we're going to we're going to pause here. We're going to do a part 3 most likely of this whole system, but we're getting there, right? We've got the refine or the the refined to the crystallized oil. Now we need to get to the last stage which is getting to the empowered 
uh, canola oil. I don't even know what it's actually called. This stuff right here. Empowered oil. Okay, that's what it's called. So that's our last step, right? We'll need a few more things, but I think in the next episode we're going to kill the wither. We are going to probably do that a few times, but I'm also going to make a cleaver between this episode and next. It's just a tinker's tool, manual and base, uh, ardite handle, uh, maybe, actually it's a bone handle, I'm pretty sure. Tons of quartz on it, and that way we'll get beheading. I'll get some wither skeleton skulls between this episode and next. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am really excited to see how this system fully turns out, if it's actually usable. Um, but getting these growth crystals will definitely help. Yes, I could do torturinos, but I really don't want to do just torturinos because I'm going to have to put them on the machines. And I just think it'd be cool to have something made for farms and stuff like that. So thank you. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.